Hello everybody and welcome to this Skyrim Creation Kit uh, tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the uh, the joys of nav mesh, what it is and how it functions. Now uh, it may seem complicated to you but it's actually once you get the hang of it nav mesh is not that complicated. So I've created a small scene here. This is Solitude Docks and I've cr uh, put in these three new docks. Right? Now, um, let's first explain what nav mesh is. Nav mesh is tells the NPCs where they can and cannot walk or interact with. Uh, basically, there are a red planes that are generated by the editor, and only the red planes that NPCs can interact with. This is so they don't go through objects. Um, anything like that and cause some horrific bugs. So I'm going to teach you how um, how NavMesh works and it's not as complicated as you think. It may seem that complicated but it's not really. Okay so I created this scene. Basically it's just a few docks just outside Solitude. Now um, just basically three parts. So if we click on the render window and uh, we hold Control E we'll see the nav mesh uh, toolbar pops up. Now this seems complicated but it's not really. There's only few buttons that we should really pay attention. These three right here and this one right here. So basically these three buttons uh, allow us what nav mesh we can select. We can select by the triangles, we can select by the edges, we can select by the vertices. This is common with most 3D programs um, but it's, you should be able to get the hang of it. So we can ignore most of these buttons so poof, go out of your memory. So what we can do first we're going to unclick select edges and unselect uh, faces. So now we can only select vertices, right? So this button is hold down. Now what we want to do is create some nav mesh manually. So with this selected, with vertices selected, we're going to go back to our view screen here. We're going to hold the control button and we're going to right click and then we're going to go right click again here, right click and then there and we created a triangle. So every time we right click we collected a vertice, this green thing here. It's green because it's currently selected. If I click out of it, it turns red. Also if I can create a vertice by clicking anywhere that's here and I unclick it, it turns yellow. Yellow means that it's a vertice, it's been created but it's not connected to anything. So let's can delete that. Um, so there, so we created three vertices. Now nav mesh only works in threes, it can only create triangles. Do not try to create uh, rectangles and squares and all different kinds of shapes. If you want to create a rectangle, there is a number of ways you can do it. So um, now what we can do is we can edit that nav mesh. We can click on that, it will turn green, which signifies we can edit it and we can drag it a bit closer there. And maybe that click one there, like that. Or we can select both of them by clicking on that and control clicking this. And we can move a little bit there. Okay, so now we created our first basic nav mesh. We're going to select the right angle here. Click there and control click this vertice. And still holding the control button down, we're going to click around here and should connect with another triangle creating a sort of like a square um, shape for us and we can also edit it like that so that's the easiest method of making nav mesh um, by hand and let's just fill up this in here once again we hold on the control button click on a vertice click on that one click on that and that and then that like that another neat thing you can do is join two vertices together 
so I'm going to join this one here control click this one and if we press Q it will create a vertice a new vertice there and to fill in this triangle we can control click that one control click there control click there all three of them is selected press A and it fills in and in no time we can get our new platform that we created in the creation kit nav meshed okay we are done we have successfully nav meshed our new platform on our um, our dock so now we're going to turn that off we're going to go back into select triangle again and basically we're going to control click all of these triangles that we have created and now we're going to click on this button it looks like a, uh, a red triangle but uh, with a question mark it comes up with this dialog and we will check nav mesh no warnings found um, this means that our nav mesh is uh, the selected nav mesh that we just created is fine it's okay and it's got no warnings if it did have any warnings it's got this handy feature called delete warning triangle it's going to delete all our problem uh, problem charts for us great so we've done we've select uh, we successfully nav meshed our little dock right here now what we're going to do to test down we're going to create a new uh, NPC and we're going to drag it onto our dock here and we're going to zoom in and we're going to make sure he is uh, put on the ground safely like that right here okay and we're going to save our plugin and let's go into Skyrim to see uh, if if our nav meshing has worked here we are in game and this is the short dock that we created and we see our little farmer is safely on our dock and so without nav mesh he'll probably be treading water right there but since we went to the trouble of making those little red triangles he will be connected onto this new dock that we have created and it's not going to look strange and that is why we do our nav mesh so it's seems complicated I know with all those little buttons but um, if you notice shortcuts such as control click to create the triangles um, A to fill them in and Q to join the vertices up then it should be a breeze to nav mesh manually um, stuff that you create on the exterior and the interior cells so thank you so much for watching